Hey there, space enthusiasts. The James Webb Space Telescope has just delivered something truly mind-blowing images that are far beyond anything we've ever witnessed before. These stunning, and yes, even terrifying, visuals are revealing secrets of the universe that were previously hidden from us. Get ready to dive into the unknown and explore cosmic phenomena like never before. In today's video, we'll break down these latest images, explore their significance, and discuss how they're reshaping our understanding of the cosmos. Buckle up because it's about to get intense. It's been two years since NASA's James Webb Space Telescope first unveiled the depths of our universe, and in that time, it has completely transformed our understanding of the cosmos. With every breathtaking image, we've glimpsed new wonders that challenge everything we thought we knew. But the latest discovery has truly left scientists astonished. What new cosmic mysteries have been unearthed? And how might they force us to rethink our place in the universe? In this special episode, we dive deep into the groundbreaking images from the James Webb Space Telescope images that are captivating astronomers worldwide and sparking new debates. Could these findings mean that the standard model of cosmology is flawed? When astronomers first used the James Webb Space Telescope to observe early galaxies, they expected to find small, faint galaxies in the early universe. Instead, what they discovered were massive, mature galaxies that seem to have grown far too quickly for current theories to explain. Some of these galaxies are so large that they defy the predictions of our models. This has led some scientists to question whether the standard model of cosmology, which has guided our understanding of the universe since the Big Bang, might need to be reconsidered. A new study, led by Catherine Kurowski, a graduate student at the University of, delves into these perplexing discoveries. Could we be on the brink of a new era in cosmological science? New research from the University of Texas at Austin reveals that some of these early galaxies aren't as massive as they first appeared. It turns out that black holes within these galaxies are making them look brighter and larger than they actually are. These black holes are rapidly consuming surrounding gas, which heats up and emits light, giving the galaxies an artificially bright appearance. This added brightness can create the illusion that these galaxies are packed with more stars and are more massive than they really are. When scientists adjust their calculations to account for these misleading bright spots, the remaining galaxies align with the predictions of the standard model. However, even with this adjustment, a smaller puzzle remains. There are still about twice as many large galaxies in the early universe as we would expect. One possible explanation is that stars might have formed more quickly in the early universe compared to today. Stars are born when hot gas cools and clumps together under gravity. As the gas contracts, it heats up, creating pressure that pushes outward. In our part of the universe, this balancing act slows down star formation. If this process was different in the early universe, it could explain the higher number of large galaxies observed by the James Webb Space Telescope. In the early universe, where everything was packed much denser, it might have been harder for pressure to push gas away allowing stars to form more rapidly. Meanwhile, astronomers studying the small red dots discovered by the James Webb Space Telescope have found fast-moving hydrogen gas. This gas is a telltale sign that black holes are actively pulling in material, which supports the theory that some of the brightness from these red objects comes from gas swirling around black holes rather than from stars themselves. This finding backs up the conclusion that these stars aren't as massive as originally thought. However, more observations are needed to determine exactly how much of the light is coming from stars versus the gas around black holes. As scientists continue to unravel these mysteries, the next discovery is sure to astonish you, rogue worlds. The James Webb Space Telescope has uncovered six peculiar objects that are planet-sized but formed like stars. These enigmatic objects, known as brown dwarfs, are between 5 and 15 times the size of Jupiter and defy traditional categories of celestial bodies. Among these brown dwarfs, one is particularly intriguing 
it might even be beginning to form its own tiny solar system. This discovery centers on the stellar cluster NGC 1333, which is teeming with brown dwarfs. Ray Gardana and his team at Johns Hopkins University used the James Webb Space Telescope to uncover these unusual objects. Despite their planet-like size, these brown dwarfs don't orbit any stars, suggesting they were born from collapsing clouds of dust and gas, much like stars such as our Sun. However, brown dwarfs lack the mass needed to sustain the nuclear reactions that power stars. Gardana's team found that brown dwarfs make up about 10% of the objects in NGC 1333 more than expected. This suggests that additional factors, like turbulence, might play a role in their formation. One particular brown dwarf stands out. It has a ring of dust around it, similar to the one that formed the planets in our solar system. At around five times the mass of Jupiter, it's the smallest object ever observed with such a ring. This could signal the beginning of a tiny planetary system around a brown dwarf. In a surprising twist, the James Webb Space Telescope also uncovered an astonishing discovery on an asteroid, water content on a metallic asteroid. Asteroid 16 Psyche, located in the main asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter, is a unique and mysterious object stretching 173 miles at its widest point. Scientists once believed Psyche was a pure metal core of an early planetesimal, but this new finding reveals even more about its complex nature. Initially, scientists thought asteroid 16 Psyche was entirely made of metal due to its shiny surface, leading them to believe it might be the iron-rich core of a planetesimal. This could provide crucial insights into the formation of Earth and other rocky planets. In fact, some estimates suggested that Psyche's metal could be worth an astonishing $100 quadrillion. This concept inspired NASA's Psyche mission, which launched in October 2023 with the goal of reaching the asteroid by 2029 for a detailed examination. However, recent discoveries are challenging this metallic hypothesis. Over the past decade, new data on Psyche's density and light reflection suggest that the asteroid might be a mix of metal and rock. In 2017, researchers detected traces of water on Psyche, finding hydroxy units a key component of water in its infrared spectra. This hinted at the possible presence of water on Psyche's surface, either as ice or embedded in minerals. However, these findings were uncertain as Earth's atmosphere might have influenced the data. Further research is needed to confirm these results and to get a clearer picture of Psyche's true composition. Finding water on Psyche has proven challenging as it was not detected in earlier observations. To get clearer answers, planetary scientist Stephanie Jarmack and her team turned to two of the James Webb Space Telescope's advanced infrared instruments, the Near Infrared Spectrograph NIRSPEC and the Mid-Infrared Instrument, MIRI. In March 2023, they focused these instruments on Psyche's North Pole to capture its spectral data. Their recent findings, published in the Planetary Science Journal, revealed a hydroxy signature resembling that of rust-bearing, carbon-rich meteorites. This suggests that the hydroxy on Psyche might be bonded to metals, creating a form of rust. Although MIRI did not provide definitive evidence of water, the researchers can't entirely rule out its presence. Water could be located in areas of Psyche that JWST couldn't observe or exist in quantities too small for MIRI to detect potentially less than what is found on the Moon. Additionally, the presence of hydroxy groups on Psyche offers clues about its origins. If these groups formed within the asteroid, it might imply that Psyche originated from the cold, outer regions of the solar system and migrated inward over millions of years. However, current evidence suggests that water-bearing asteroids may have collided with Psyche, adding another layer to the mystery of its formation. As research on Psyche continues, scientists will focus on mapping where hydrated metals are located on its surface, including examining its south pole. This area features a large crater that may have been caused by a collision with a water-bearing object. 
Shifting from water on Psyche to water in space, let's explore a fascinating discovery made by the James Webb Space Telescope regarding one of Uranus's icy moons. New observations suggest that Ariel, one of Uranus's 27 moons, might harbor a hidden liquid ocean beneath its icy crust. Uranus, the seventh planet from the Sun and the third largest in our solar system, has four moons, Ariel, Umbriel, Titania, and Oberon, that are of particular interest to scientists searching for water in our solar system. Ariel is named after a character from Shakespeare's play The Tempest, while Titania and Oberon are named after characters from A Midsummer Night's Dream. For their study of these moons, scientists used JWST to observe them for 21 hours, searching for signs of ammonia, organic molecules, water, and carbon dioxide ice. Interestingly, carbon dioxide ice was not expected to be present on these moons. Uranus, located about 20 times farther from the Sun than Earth, is expected to have carbon dioxide in a gaseous state. However, scientists have discovered carbon dioxide ice on Ariel, particularly on the side of the moon that faces away from its orbit. Ariel's surface features canyons, grooves, and smooth areas where this ice has been found. In another exciting development, the European Space Agency has released breathtaking images of Messier 106, a nearby spiral galaxy in the constellation Canes Venetiki, also known as NGC 4258. Captured by the James Webb Space Telescope, these images showcase the galaxy in incredible detail. Thanks to its advanced near-infrared camera, Webb can peer further and deeper into space than any other telescope. As we look farther into the universe, we encounter older and older objects. The light from these ancient objects shifts to longer, invisible wavelengths called redshift, moving from visible light to the infrared part of the spectrum. While galaxies often appear dense and obscured due to stardust blocking visible light, infrared light can penetrate this dust more easily. The James Webb Space Telescope excels at detecting these infrared signals, revealing a clearer view of the cosmos. Infrared light from the James Webb Space Telescope has unveiled previously hidden parts of galaxies, providing a fresh perspective on their structure. In the newly captured images of Messier 106, we get a striking view of a supermassive black hole at the galaxy's center. This black hole is particularly fascinating because it's highly active, unlike the one in our Milky Way, which only sporadically pulls in gas. In Messier 106, the black hole is actively consuming material. As the gas spirals inward, it heats up and emits intense radiation, causing the galaxy's bright center to shine vividly. The images reveal the galaxy's glowing core as gas and dust fall into the black hole. The galaxy's arms are depicted as glowing streaks of gas and dust, with blue areas representing scattered stardust, orange showing warmer dust, and red hues indicating cooler dust. Teal green and yellow tones near the center highlight different gas distributions. Additionally, Messier 106 features two invisible arms that are only detectable in radio and X-ray wavelengths. These arms consist of hot gas rather than stars, and are thought to be the result of material being ejected by the black hole, creating dramatic and dynamic structures in the galaxy. Scientists have likened the phenomenon observed in Messier 106 to waves crashing on a shore. These insights are helping astronomers delve deeper into star formation, black hole behavior, and the universe's history. But the James Webb Space Telescope didn't stop there. It also captured a stunning image of the Tarantula Nebula, revealing thousands of young stars in this cosmic nursery that had never been seen before. The telescope's advanced capabilities allowed it to detect gas, dust, and even distant background galaxies within the nebula. The detailed image shows the Tarantula Nebula, also known as 30 Doradus, resembling a tarantula's web-lined lair. Located 161,000 light-years away, in the large moon with Earth-like qualities. One of Titan's most intriguing features is its thick, hazy atmosphere, which is shrouded in methane clouds. The James Webb Space Telescope recently made an exciting discovery 
by spotting two of these methane clouds, much to the delight of scientists. Being on this moon, Nixon's team aimed to map Titan's atmospheric haze, identify new gases, and achieve other scientific goals. When the data came in, the team was thrilled to find not just one, but two distinct methane clouds. One of these clouds hovered above Kraken Mare, Titan's largest sea. The scientists were eager to track these clouds and monitor their changes over time. However, their work is far from finished. They've successfully identified these clouds using JWST's near-infrared camera, which helps them analyze Titan's lower atmosphere. The next steps involve analyzing additional data from this camera and another instrument, the near-infrared spectrograph, which measures various aspects of Titan's atmospheric composition. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, has been using different wavelengths of light to study Titan's atmosphere, helping to map various compounds, including a notable bright spot over the Moon's south pole. JWST is scheduled to focus on Titan again in June 2023, this time using its mid-infrared instrument to delve deeper into Titan's unique and hazy atmosphere. When JWST launched, it generated excited in the habitable zone, remains largely mysterious. The difficulty in observing TRAPP IST-1 stems from the fact that this red dwarf star is about 41 light-years away in the constellation Aquarius. The planets orbiting T RAPP IST-1 have short orbital periods, ranging from 1.5 to 20 days. This means their transits, or passages across the star's surface, frequently overlap, complicating observations and making it tough for scientists to gather clear data. Welcome to Blessovia Science TV, where we take you on an exhilarating journey through the cosmos and unravel the mysteries of science. We are excited to offer you the opportunity to become a valued member of our ever-growing community of cosmic enthusiasts and knowledge seekers. Exclusive access to cosmic content. As a member of Blissovia Science TV, you will gain exclusive access to a treasure trove of cosmic content, including documentaries, interviews with leading scientists, space missions updates, and awe-inspiring visualizations of the universe, live Q, and a sessions with experts. Your membership will grant you the chance to participate in live Q and a sessions with renowned scientists, astronomers, and space explorers. Get your burning questions answered by those who push the boundaries of human knowledge. Embark on a journey that spans the cosmos and join us in unraveling the secrets of the universe. Become a Blasovia Science TV member today, and together we will reach for the stars. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, and share. Don't forget to leave your comment.